Welcome back to another car TV vlog, finally. I haven't done too much recording um, over the last couple of months really I've been so busy if you guys know me I do run my own graphic design business so if you guys need any motorsport liveries check it out it's Tiana Creative I'll leave all the links in the description below okay so today I am going to be installing my hard race tie rods inners and outers on my 180SX S13 I've got my tie packs behind me and I'm going to show you guys step by step on exactly how to do that so as you can see here, um, this part has kind of lost all of its fluid. If you can see that on camera, I'm not too sure if you can see with GoPros, but um, it's got a little bit of liquid on it. So it's actually busted open, literally. That's how bad it is. So the first step is you will want to remove this cotter pin off the, um, off the thread uh, with some long nose pliers. lock it yeah okay hold there we go so I just put my jack end on my ratchet just to get a bit more leverage for me you guys probably won't have to do that so I'm just gonna like leave the thread just up to that top bit so we can separate with this part and that bottom bit of the top what I do recommend is you can get a puller to pull this out. If you want to be a little bit more old school, you can get like a 6x2 timber. <laughs> no, it's, this is a 6x2. I'm not doing t Does this look like a 2x4? Alright, so I'm just using this piece of wood and I'm just going to tap on the top of this thread here just so I don't damage it and it should kind of separate the ball joint. I'm just going to put a flat head underneath here and I'm going to wiggle the boot off. I'm probably not going to be able to show you guys this process or maybe, oh here you go, it's working, okay. I'm just going to take it off the rack. There we go. Freshly greased up um, as well. I think by the workshop that did the entrance 
which is good. So you're just going to adjust the wrench, a quite large one, and we're going to put it just on this part here. And once we get it there, because it's counterclockwise, I'm going to get the jack and I'm going to use the jack to remove it. <laughs> So we're just jacking the wrench up so we don't have to do the hard yards. Alright, that's come off. So now we're going to replace them with the S14 tires. Thank you. hard race ones that I bought came with a little spacer. I can't remember the exact name but I'll put it right here for you guys so you guys can have a look at it. And um, this spacer pretty much allows you to lower your car without it putting any pressure on this bushing here. So this is definitely good to have because it actually lowers the suspension. Like it pretty much lowers this part of your suspension with the car so it's not putting any pressure on it. That's pretty good. Um, this is the comparison. So it sits a lot lower and this bushing is probably a lot stronger too because it's hard race. Um, I'll show you guys the top view as well. Updated. They came out with a 14 millimeter diameter in inner rod, whereas the S13 came out with a 12 mm diameter. So it's much thinner, and I highly recommend upgrading. Like no one uses the um, S13 ones really anymore. Like if you upgrade, you just buy the 14 ones. So yeah, these are also from Hard Race, and I'm gonna reuse these. Um, boots because there's nothing really wrong with it and I didn't buy any boots so I'm not really prepared that way so Yank one more time. <laughs> okay. 
just make sure that the boot is seated properly on the inner rod. And I have just got myself a large quality cable tie. So I'm just going to go around. What I do as a trick is I bend it into a C. So we can feed it through a lot easier. So that's like a C shape. Because it's a bit tricky sometimes trying to feed a straight cable tie through. Now we're going to put the tired ends on to the inner parts, so the outers to the inners. And um, the way that this works is the castle nut's going to sit at the bottom. This thread here at the top for the hard race ones goes up through and it has that space and lowers it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock this in once we twist it on and we're going to put a split pin through there and then to tighten the top we'll just literally slot it through and tighten it from there. So first step is to um, pop this on, make sure you don't thread it. I need the nut first, let's not do that. This guy first that we took off. So since I'm getting a wheel alignment, I'm not gonna worry too much. Usually you try to kind of get it as similar as you can to the old alignment, but this needs a complete front and back wheel alignment because we just changed it to five stud. Okay, so you just get yourself some two wrenches or two spanners if you have the correct sizing. I think it's probably around 21. And just tighten them by putting them opposite ways. Okay. So see how that sits a lot lower now? So it's not going to put any pressure. With the hard rate ones, uh, you have to kind of hold like a breaker bar socket 19mm on the castle nut at the bottom. Um, and on the top, you will uh, need a 19mm ratchet spanner. And you'll just hold that bottom one in place and we'll tighten the top one. Alright, so I'm just using this breaker bar, I'm using my leg as leverage to hold it, hold the bottom castle nut in place just tightening it to make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, that will probably never come off. <laughs> okay, these clips are brand new. Usually they will provide you with some split pins. So try not to use the old ones. It's better to use fresh ones because they literally just pop straight through, just like that. And if they don't go all the way through, just kind of tap it in. Little thing like that. And get your luminous pliers. And everyone does them differently. I kind of don't mind which way I do it. I just get the longer bit at the top. There'll be a longer like little section and a shorter section. And I just get the long sections and I usually bend them out. These pliers are very old and very useless, so I don't even know why I'm using them, to be honest. Some people do one, like one split pin, some people do two, if you want to see that. Um, you can do like one side or you can just do like both sides. I usually leave one so it's a little bit easier for me to remove in the future. But it's entirely up to you guys. A wrap for tonight. I am extremely tired. I still gotta do the other side, but stay tuned for more DIY stuff. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, this is my Instagram right here. So just check it out, give me a follow if you like my tutorials, and don't forget to like and subscribe to standard stuff, you know. Um, and I will see you guys in my next vlog.